Now let us try an example to construct a magnetic diagram for the composite beam. The beam section is as shown here. There will be in situ slab and also the precast beam. The dimensions of the precast beam and the in situ slab is given here. For the precast pre tension inverted T beam, the overall depth is 1100 mm and the neutral axis is at 434 mm. The beam has a concrete grade of 50. As for the in situ concrete slab, the grade is 25. You know that the slab sections will undergo shrinkage. It is calculated on basis of the relative humidity 80% and cement class N is being used. The member is subjected to a QK of 18 kN per meter. Ignore the thermal gradient. The gamma superior and gamma inferior is given as 1.0 pi and 0.95. Alpha and beta are given as 0 0.9 and 0 0.75. The concrete cover is considered as 50 mm and the unit weight of the concrete is 25 kN per meter cube. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to determine the properties of the sections. There will be slabs and there will be precast beam. The dimensions are given here. The span is 24 meter. Due to different concrete grade, the FCK will be 25 and 50 for the slab and beam respectively. To determine the FCM, you use these equations, which is FCK plus 8 megapascal. That will give you 33 and 58 FCM for the slab and beam respectively. Their modulus of elasticity is calculated from the equation here. Substitute the FCM into the equation. You get the modulus of elasticity for the slab and beam. Since we have calculated the modulus of elasticity, we can calculate the modification ratio. It is obtained by dividing ECM slab with ECM beam. As given in the equation here, which it will be equal to 0 0.844. Next, you need to determine the geometrical property of the section. For the beam here, there are two parts which we can calculate their property separately. The first column is meant for the area of the parts. Next, you determine their centroid in respect to the surface of the beam. And then use the A times Y, you get this column. The summations of the area and the summations of AY. When you divide this with this, you are able to determine its centroid, which is 434 mm, from the surface of the beam. The Y top is calculated by the overall height of the precast member minus the Y bottom, which eventually equals to 666 mm. Next, you need to calculate for the moment of inertia. To do so, you will need to determine the dy first. The dy here is referring to the distance between the centroid of the parks with the centroid of the entire section. Next, you calculate the bh power 3 per 12 for each part and then use the column of A multiply the square of the dy. That gives you a dy square. And referring to these equations, we are looking into this plus this, you get this column. 
the summations of the two row here will be the moment of initial of the precast section. Based on the i that you have obtained, divide it with the centroid of the top and the bottom. You are able to determine the section modulus for the top and the bottom of the precast element. Now that you have calculated the properties of the beam section, you will need to do the same for this lab. The same tables apply, and you will be able to obtain the area of the slab, the centroid, and also the moment of inertia. Next, you will need to determine the geometrical property for the composite section. This represents the conditions of the member when it is being put into the service. Bear in mind that the concrete grade for the slab and the concrete grade for the precast beam are different. You cannot simply add up the properties of the beam and slab, as their bifundamentals are different. Therefore, you will need to modify the dimensions and properties of the slab to become an equivalent properties so that they can behave as a unit in the composite section. This comes to the applications of the modification factors which we have calculated earlier on. It is derived on the basis of the ratio between the modulus of elasticity of the slab and the beam, which is equal to 0.844. With that, the width of the slab, the area of the slab, and the moment of inertia of the slab will be multiplied with 0.844, the modification ratio, that gives you these properties. That means, the original width of the slab, which is 1000 mm, if it is converted to the concrete strength equivalent to the beam section, which is grade 50, it will be as if the width of the slab now is 844. With that, these properties can now be used together for the analysis of the properties of the composite member. Now this composite member involves the beam and also the modified slab. The relevant properties is put into the calculation, going through the same set of the calculation steps, inclusive of the modified I. You are able to determine the total composite area and also the centroid of the composite section. Based on the number computed, use these equations to determine the section modulus. It is obtained by dividing the I with the Y top and Y bottom of the composite section, which give you this and this.